Welcome to the ultimate career success mind shift video. So this video is based on shifting your mindset that you currently have. So what is your mindset? Your mindset is essentially certain truths, certain beliefs, certain values that you have due to your conditioning and your upbringing. So some of these mindsets could be empowering you. However, some of them may be dysfunctional. So we're going to go and challenge them to, a, to some degree. Um, essentially, they're perspectives that you have learned and now have become set as your way or your perspective of how you see things. In particular, around your job search, job hunt and your career. Okay, so first of all, I want to change something. So we go from a mindset. To a mind shift because you're not fixed for a very long period of time a majority part of the world believe that the world was flat you know some people still believe that and you know each to their own but at the moment as it uh, you know as I believe and the majority do that the world is round you know, they've been up to space, they've seen it round, they've been, I've, I've literally been around the world, I've been to over 30 countries and I've gone all over the places, I've never seen the edge. So for a very long period of time, people believed that there was actually an edge to the world and that if you got to that edge, you will fall off. And that was the general consensus, that was the perspective or the world view that was there at that time. However, that shifted once people started traveling and realizing, okay, we're not, we're not actually dying. Or for another example is when um, for a very long period of time, a lot of individuals believe that there was a certain time that you could complete a race. So the, the world's fastest man could complete it. Let's say it was, I don't remember the specifics, but the 100 meter race in, in a few seconds. And then no one ever thought that, that they could beat that until one person cracked it after a very long period of time. And then every single year after that, because people shifted their mindset that it was breakable, it has been broken time and time and time again. Sometimes you need to crack and, and remove certain limiting beliefs that are preventing you from having that mind set for success. So there's three essential aspects in, within this. So it's beliefs, values and rituals so beliefs we touched on them just briefly just then um, essentially if you have beliefs that are disempowering or dysfunctional because you can have empowering and functional and you want to shift those into a way that is actually serving you if you've got that like for example when you're applying for a job you don't feel like you're confident that you're not good enough that you can't you don't have the qualifications or you don't have the skills um, to be able to get that job, what you focus on is what you get. So if you're focusing on your inadequacies and your inabilities, and yes, I know it sucks sometimes because you keep getting rejected or knocked back or not even getting any communication. I get that. It's now how we're going to shift it. So you stop focusing on the negatives and start focusing on the positives. Because I'm going to draw a, a wheel that will eventually show you how you can build some momentum and start getting the results that you want in your life by shifting your mindset. Okay, so if you're focusing on those beliefs that you're not good enough, you're inadequate, then you will continue to get those. Sometimes they're hidden, they're blind spots. Um, I work with a lot of my one-on-one -on -one clients and we smash and we break those beliefs and create new ones that empower them and that they're charged to be able to go and get their dream job quicker. And if you keep resisting those, and you keep thinking, oh, I'm not applying for this because of this particular reason, or that I'm afraid that I'll get rejected again, or the job won't work out again, or I won't get along with the people there, or I'm gonna get embarrassed, or they're gonna, I'm not gonna belong. If you keep resisting that, that will persist. Because what you resist persists because you keep focusing on it and then you will continue to get it. Think of it like a magnet. You know, if you're, um, what you're focusing on is even if you're saying, I don't want that, that magnet is attracting that thing that you're, that you're not wanting. So the key here is acceptance. 
So it's kind of like when you get when you get bullied, and when if you've seen it time and time again, when you accept whatever the bully is saying, not it's not true, but you're getting that that's their perspective, and they're probably self-projecting their own insecurities onto you. You get that, and you accept that it's not personal; it's actually them. And when you've done that. The bully has no power over you because he can't trigger you because it just go that goes right through you like water it just just flows right through you so once you accept what you're resisting you will stop focusing on that and you will start having stronger beliefs to get you the career success that you're after so the next next part of this is values so I'm not talking about values in terms of you value a car, you value a house, you value um, you know, a job. It's what those things or those items that are external to you, what they can give you and what can you experience and feel as a result of that. So some people have a really nice car and they experience luxury and feeling like they're spoiling themselves and they get a sense of significance and they were able to... Uh, maybe take care of their family in that so they're getting contribution significance those are the values and once you connect those values to your career it propels it because it gives an, an emotional charge to it so for example people want um, a house so they 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 want comfort they want safety they want to know that they're a provider so they get the significance and the contribution out of it so when you're when you're chasing it for those particular reasons, emotional charge propels that and it shifts your mindset to go for things and, and see opportunities that you may not have seen before. So we're not focusing on the item per se with the money, the status, the job, the car. It's the experiences you'll feel on a regular basis by having that. And then the third one is rituals. So I want to draw this for you. Essentially, think of it as a wheel, and you know those wheels where you put water in it, and as a result, it starts turning, and it trickles through, and then it turns, and it turns, and if you put more water, it will go faster. So essentially, this is... The wheel for career success and in this particular example that water is the rituals so your rituals are what you do on a consistent basis so that you can build that momentum and compound it to propel yourself even further so how can you start experiencing your values and your beliefs on a regular basis so that that will trickle through and give you that momentum to get the job and the, and the career that you love and you deserve. So the rituals are daily basis. You've got to maintain. Think of your mind as a, as a garden. It's a beautiful garden that requires it to be taken care of. So you need to mow it. You need to pull out the weeds. You need to give it water. You need to give it food. Because if you don't give it those things, it will die. Or it will get filled up with weeds and eventually it, it's mess. You know, you're, it's a jungle and you're trying to get through it. So if your mind is, is a garden, you're going to have to maintain it on a daily basis. You know, eating healthy, um, exercising. But the most important thing is the mind. Because the mind, shift the mind, it changes the um, actions, change the actions, it gives you different results. It all starts with the, your mindset. So how do we do that? You were given the top 50 affirmations on how to put yourself in a position and feel, remember, emotions, motion towards what you're after. Feel what you're after on a, on a cons consistent basis. Morning routines. So how you set yourself up in the morning is how the day will come out. So stretching, um, you know, getting your coffee, going for a walk, um, engaging your mind, your body, your spirit, um, nurturing, you know, li listening to ebooks or reading, that stuff is essentially taking the weeds out of it. 
And if you want to go even deeper, mindfulness, meditation, some people do yoga, um, some people find uh, jogging and running as a form of meditation, whatever form it is, to be able to silence the mind. Because when you silence it, you're now getting it to a place where you can start feeling it with, once you've cleared it, with positive and happy emotions so that you can feel that wheel of for success with positive energy. Because regardless, you're filling it up with positive or negative, but it's your choice at the end of the day. So if you're feeling it on a regular basis through your rituals, your affirmations, your morning routines and clearing the mind, you're able to propel and move that, that wheel forward. So, because if, let's say you cut that and you're only doing a little bit of things, is that going to slow down the wheel? Of course it is. So if you want to get that momentum, you will have to implement strong beliefs. Look at why you're doing certain things and bring emotion to it. Then you're going to do that on a regular basis and that will give you the structure for the ultimate career success mind shift. And if you want, if you enjoyed this, leave a comment in the Facebook group so that we can hear what you're getting out of it and what you're going to be doing as a result. And if you want to go even deeper into this, the six steps to career clarity and direction, which is located over there, you can unlock that so that we can go even deeper if you really did like this. Or if you really want to propel yourself through this and smash all your limiting beliefs and build strong values and find out what rituals work for you, then hit, hit the one-on-one -on -one premier coaching where you work one-on-one -on -one with me and I'll be able to propel you to get that even faster.